boys and girls. It's Mrs. Zilly again. This time we're in my backyard. And it's another beautiful day today. A little hot. That's why I'm in the cooler time of night now. But the song I want to do and share with you today, I think we did last year, a lot of you that I taught. Uh, and it's called The Heart of America. And we're living in the heart of America, right? But we're going to do it like this. We're living in the heart, in the heart of America. You want to try that? Let's try it. We're living in the heart, in the heart of America. That's right. Because when we do America, we put our hands together and we make a circle like we're stirring a big pot. Because America is often referred to as the melting pot. Because people come here from all over the world and we unite in America. And before we sing our song and march to it, because this is definitely a march, so make sure in the beginning especially that you're marching and getting those knees up nice and high. Then there's two instruments in, that are featured in the song a lot, and that is a woodwind called the piccolo, which is a shorter version of a flute. And would you say it's a higher pitch than a flute or a lower? Hmm, doesn't lower isn't longer meaning lower and shorter meaning higher we learned that with our strings and our boom whackers and our tone bells so yes this is a high pitched sound and it's like the birds that you might hear chirping in my backyard that one is featured as well as a stringed instrument from the orchestra and that is the violin but there's another name for the violin when it's used like in country music or in the early days of uh, America it's called a fiddle, and so you'll hear the fiddle. So we'll be playing our fiddle, imaginary, and we'll be playing our piccolo through the song. And listen to those instruments, and get those knees up nice and high as you march. We're living in the heart, in the heart 